What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I know I've been gone a week, but we just got back from vacation at Disney, so it was an absolute blast. Pics and stuff are all up all over social media, so check that out. But today we're gonna go over Echoing Nightmares. Typically, I don't do a whole lot of Echoing Nightmare stuff um, because it's it was thing, a thing from last season, but they really changed it. So I wanna give you guys my strategy for Echoing Nightmares in season 27. It's pretty easy now. You can do this with any build, doesn't really matter. You can pick anything that you're playing and just kind of coast your way into getting the uh, the Whisper of Atonements at 125. 125 is the level that you're uh, trying to reach or really, I've heard that people say that 126 is really the one because they knock it down uh you know one level so that way you get 125 i've never had that issue I've, I've stopped it at 125 and it's been 125 so i'm not sure if people are having that problem let me know down in the comments guys if you are but so i'm gonna go over everything that we're gonna do in the echoing nightmares so before we used to do echoing nightmares because it gave a huge um exp boost and you could just boost your way through and gain a crap ton of levels they've reduced that by 80 percent now which i think is a really good thing um, you used to be able to get, or you still can get the goblin totem late in the level, which will give you a bunch of goblins, which is good for some resources. I definitely don't recommend doing that. And then the only other thing that you really wanted to do was just to, you know, get your whisper of atonement. So the best way to do that is just to get to 125 and stop guys. There's no more reasons to go beyond 125 really, unless you just enjoy doing the, uh, the levels. So uh, the Whisper of Atonements are the great thing. I think this was a huge win by Blizzard by putting these in here to help give you a, a 125 gem, which you can augment onto your gear, which will give you a plus 625 to whatever stat that you're using it for on your characters. And it reduces the time it takes to level up all these gems that you have now. And then you'd have to augment them and you have to start all over with more gems. So this, I think, is a huge win for Diablo 3 and just a big, awesome like little mini game is how I think about it playing. So let's go over the strategy and how to do this. You're going to need the Petrified Screams, guys, which you can only get at level 70, which will drop doing GRs, etc. Uh, so you put this in here and you just you just get it just like you would, uh, you know, doing a ring or anything else. So the whole idea of going in here is we're just going to have to find the four pylons, okay? Now, the strategy I like to use is you used to wait because it was worth it to try to get to the highest level you possibly could. But now you don't have to. So the whole idea here is, is what I like to do is I like to take the speed totem first. And then we like to take the channeling totem. And then after that, we're going to take power and, uh, what is it? Power and um, conduit. So right around 30, take go ahead and take that. Go ahead and take that. Go ahead and take the speed uh, pylon. It's really, really good. You need that. And right after that, as soon as you get about to 50 where I am now, go ahead and take channeling. Now, the way that you have to do this is, guys, you're going to need a the amulet of... Oh, God. It's on my follower. You're going to need the amulet of flavor of time. Okay? You're going to need the flavor of time so that way the pylons last even longer. Okay? You get the double pylon. Okay? You have to have that. If you're doing it solo with no follower, put it on yourself. If you're doing it uh, you know, solo, then do put it on your follower. If not, then you have to have it equipped. So get rid of whatever's in your amulet slot. Now, once you have that and you get you take these two, they're gonna carry you all the way to 125. Now, our current level is 82. Once we get to about 90 or 100, if you really wanted to push it, if you have a decent build, then you can take the last two pylons. We're always gonna take power first. And then we're going to take conduit. So we're about halfway through. Let's go ahead and go grab power. And then let's go grab conduit. And this should carry us all the way to 125. Now, if you are doing this on hardcore, I recommend just once you hit 125, go to the edge of the map and just let the overwhelmed meter fill. Otherwise, if you wanted to, you could die on normal if you're playing softcore. Otherwise, this is going to carry you all the way to 125. Do your best to dodge all of the meteors. Please do not let them hit you. But this is a strategy, guys. It's pretty simple. Pretty simple. This carries you all the way to 120. Look at that. We're almost to 120 now, and then 125 is even easier to get to. So it shouldn't be that big of a problem. 
and you just coast all the way. Again, you can do this with any build. It doesn't have to even be a strong build. It can be a decently built one. You just need the flavor of time amongst other things. Look, we're already at 125. Now, if I want, I can just let them overwhelm me. And we'll just finish. Oh, he's chasing me. And we can just finish the, the Echoing Nightmare. You don't need to do anything else. Let's just let them overwhelm me. And boom, we're done. So we finished at 130. Great. Not too bad at all. We go grab everything. And that's it. We get our Whisper of Atonement, which is fantastic. We finished at 130, 125. All set. Pretty easy, guys. Echoing Nightmares this season is just super easy. It's basically just a mini game to help you guys get your augments for your builds, which I think is fantastic. Huge win to Blizzard for keeping this in the game. But I love the reduced um, experience that you get from it. It just makes it a quick mini game. As you see, we finished that in about two minutes. Maybe a little longer than two minutes, but it's pretty easy. And then you can augment all of your gear. The cool thing with these is too is that if you are doing higher rifts, you can level these up all the way up to 150 if you would like. But to get a plus 625 on everything in about two minutes is a huge dub. So again, guys, if the strategy is, is you're going to need a flavor of time on your follower if you're doing it solo. If you're doing it in groups, make sure one of you guys have a flavor of time and you're hitting the pylons. The next thing that you're going to do is when you get into the Echoing Nightmare, you're going to get... Uh, the speed pylon around uh, level 30. Go ahead and grab the um, channeling pylon around 50. And then once you get into your 90s, you're going to grab power and conduit and coast all the way to 125 to get these easy at Whispers of Atonement to augment your gear, guys. So that's the strategy. Let me know down in the comments if this video does help you out. If you guys had any issues with um, Echoing Nightmares or you felt like you weren't beating it or anything like that, let me know down in the comments. I'll try to help you guys. But that is going to do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to drop a like, guys. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe. All the support has been absolutely fantastic. So I thank you guys again. I much, much, much appreciate it. So thank you. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.